Hey YouTube, this is Justin here, aka Demonic Sweaters. Today I've got a drum set review for you guys. This is the Lakato CPD 1000 electronic drum kit. Now you could call this a tabletop drum kit, but you could also call it just an electronic drum set because actually it has a little bit more in common with a drum set that you set up on a rack than say a tabletop drum kit. Uh, that being that it actually has individual pieces like a mesh snare drum, which you can see right here. Um, there are three rubber tom pads, and then you have three cymbal pads as well. One for hi-hat, one for ride cymbal, and one for crash cymbal. And then there's also an, a standalone drum module you can see there on the top. Um, this thing, when I saw the photos and Lakato asked me if I wanted to review it, I was like, absolutely, because that thing looks super weird, and I definitely want to check it out. This thing is built a lot more sturdy than I expected. You know, looking at it from the photos, you would think that a lot of it is plastic. However, that is not the case. This whole frame that this thing sits on is metal. It's actually pretty heavy. And then you have a metal uh, rim on the snare drum, as well as metal cymbal stand or cymbal arms. And everything has thick rubber bushings around them to really attack the crosstalk problem head on. And uh, I have not experienced any crosstalk at all between any of the drums on this drum set or cymbals. And uh, it's really interesting. You know, the fact that these are actually cymbals that plug in, and let me take one of these off of here and you guys can see. Now, even this, this top uh, bolt to hold on the cymbal is also encased in like a soft rubber. So everything is rubber that needs to basically isolate vibration. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's rubber all around except for the inside. You have some metal on the inside. And these symbols, even this symbol arm is like a square shaped rubber, uh, you know, bushing that this symbol fits over top of. So everything is like, wow, my eye is right perfectly in the center there. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting. And it performs pretty well, actually. I was pretty surprised at the playability of this thing and how well it actually performs. Uh, I do have a couple of criticisms. Um, one of them, I might as well talk about that right now, is the pedals that this thing comes with absolutely suck. These are the standard pedals that it comes with, and they're basically foot switches that connect to the drum module. There's two individual wires uh, to connect to them. The hi-hat pedal is usable, but not great. The bass, I mean, they're the same pedal, but the switch for the bass drum, using one of these on the bass drum is absolutely terrible. It's basically unplayable. You get tons of uh, double triggers and just false triggers and all kinds of, you know, just bad stuff when you try to use the bass drum uh, switch. However, Thankfully, you can hook up a regular bass drum trigger to it. And in the beginning there, I was using a Roland kick drum and uh, it works just fine. However, I was not able to get the Roland FD7 hi-hat controller to work with it. So I still had to use one of these foot switches for the hi-hat, uh, which is a shame. I would rather be able to hook up both, you know, Roland pedals to be able to use with it just to give it a much more professional feel because the rest of the kit actually feels really good, um, especially the snare drum. The snare drum is a really nice feeling snare drum. It feels like super solid when you hit it and it reacts well. I had to adjust some of the sensitivity settings and stuff in the module uh, to my liking, but that's pretty common on all, all electronic drums. Everybody plays a little bit differently. Now I've reviewed several tabletop type drum sets uh, in the past, but this one is quite different than all of them that I've used because like I said, it's much more like an actual electronic drum set. Uh, whereas it has a module and you plug the module into the individual pads. Theoretically, you could, you know, possibly upgrade, you know, and use that module on a different drum set. However, all the cables from the snake are pretty short and they probably would not reach uh, a drum set set up on a rack. So you'd have to find a new cable snake for that to work. And I don't know what the compatibility is with the cable snakes uh, with other drum sets. Now, as far as ports go, we have a standard line output as well as a headphone jack and an auxiliary input where you can plug in an iPad or something like that to listen to music to and play along to. And then on the other side, you have a standard USB MIDI output, which is nice.
Now, in addition to Easy Drummer, of course, you could use any other drum software plugin. The drum set also features a coaching function as well as songs that you can play along to. Now, I wouldn't really consider the songs songs very much. They're more like just a one or two bar loop that you could play along to, but it's still something that you could jam to if you were just bored and wanted to mess around. Now the coaching function is actually really useful and I like that a lot, especially for new drummers. It gives them the ability to play along to a click track and will grade them on their performance. So it'll tell you if you're either going too fast or too slow and uh, just help you with your timing, which is pretty cool. And, and you can practice a variety of different types of notes like quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets, and so on. It's pretty cool. you wanted a simple drum set to take around to you know use at portable gigs this is a good option i think and it also comes with a case which is pretty cool it's like a backpack uh style case and the entire kit fits in there if you're using the included pedals which i recommend not using but you could use this with one other bag to carry your kick drum you know kick drum pedal in or kick drum trigger and uh this thing is really nice you know it's a nice padded bag it's not like really padded but it'll get the job done and it's cool that it comes with it so you have a complete portable electronic drum set all in one bag which is really cool of course you do need something to mount it on i'm using a snare stand it does not have the standard electronic drum mount on the bottom with like the post that you connect things with like alesis and roland's do uh, however it does work on a snare stand if you flip the snare stand around backwards you have to have the single post towards you and the two uh post from the basket on the upper side for it to work. You could also set it directly on a desk or a table because it does have little feet on it that are rubberized that I think would cut down on the crosstalk as well. Overall, I think this is a really interesting device. And uh, if you're looking for a portable, inexpensive electronic drum kit, this is a really good option. There's a link down below. Just keep in mind that that kick drum trigger is not really going to work that well out of the box. So I'll, I'll go ahead and include another kick drum down below that you could use that I know will work with this one, which is the uh, KD7 that I'm using right now. So I'll include that down there. They're not that expensive too. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe, click the bell icon, and I'll see y'all next time. Later.